借金とあの money in the ball. 結構大切にしてた I treasure that thing, you know. Yeah. I have a $45 bottle of whiskey that I'm going through way too fast already, and I'm like. Monobuso. Monobuso. Yep, Kaboto didn't get it done. I'll do it right this time. Guaranteed. I'll let you know when it's over. Monobuso. Manabe-san. You're in on this too? If you're on their side, why do you help us run down this lead? Help ya? All I told you was someone was fixing matches. Pretty sure I warned you to keep your nose out. You didn't think that would actually stop me, did you? Gizmo, you want a treat? Come here, Gizmo. Come here, baby Gizmo. God damn it. Come here, Gizmo. Come here, Gizmo. Come on. Come here, baby boy. <clears throat> What's the bug, Arcane? Look at the little fat boy. I don't drink soda anyways unless I'm mixing it. And I I really just started drinking again the last month or so. Because my fucking... I've had a, a fucking hell of a last two months. <laughs> not, I guess not. <laughs> we might be long past our playing days. But there's not a soul alive who likes watching a draw. One way or another, someone's got to win this. You never change. Even after all this time, you're still that same batter I used to look up to. How about we settle this? Because, uh, yeah, Greg refunded you, Arcane. How about we sell this, Shinada? Greg refunds people. Hey, Zoe, go look at my uh, Not Safe for Work channel in Discord. Yep, Arcane. Greg, Greg and crew have decided that my pigtails cost too much. dead Can you let me get up, game?
Да. Так. Вакариасы, что да. She's Икермир. Макир What's that supposed to mean? You don't remember? Manabe-san was the greatest cleaner pitter Shut up! And he knew his warning would only keep me digging deeper. Manabe-san, tell the truth. You want me to know about the Nagoya family, about what really is going on here. So who's so out with it? Who's behind all this? Who set me up 15 years ago? And who's the bastard making honest people like you do these terrible things? Why don't you find out for yourself? You'll understand when you hear who picks up. Interesting. What's going on, Ma ah, Manabe? Have you taken care of our Shinita problem? Manabe, are you there? Hey, answer me. Manabe. Manabe. Oh, Manabe. Who was it, Shinada? Come on. Oi. Their manager? Fujita. It was Fujita, my old manager. Shit! <laughs> Chapter 4 Fleeting Triumph. Is that right? I see. I understand that. Yes. Holy me, I'm well aware there's more to come. Some things have been handed off. But that doesn't change the truth. My sworn duty is to protect Nagoya. Yes, measures have been taken. Shinada will be disposed of. Yes, I'll see to it personally. So he's not even the top guy. Goodbye. What the fuck, man? It's me. We need to talk about the news. That's right. About that big trade. I know I'm asking a lot of you. But can't you squeeze it into the evening edition? Please. My life in baseball practically depends on it. It's morning. Man, feels like I slept for years. Oh, right. I have to report to that guy. What is it? I have something important to tell you. I'll hear it in person. I take it you're home, then I'll be over. Ah, okay. I'm sure it'll take a sweet time. Maybe I'll step out for a bit.
fuck are we supposed to go? I leveled up again. Hey, where are you? Ah, go back. Oh, sorry, I stepped down for a bit. I'll be right back. I'll be back right away. I'm not playing games here. Hurry back. Yeah, that was silly. I was reading uh, uh, Toasty's post on Discord, and all I could think now is story time with Toasty. <laughs> story time with Toasty. Oh, sorry. You're late. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> My bad. We don't have much time. Let's hear it. Okay, I'm not sure where to start. Story time with Toasty? I would too. So the Nagoya family was never a true Yakuza organization. It came into existence 15 years ago as a neighborhood who watched to protect local interests. You're right. And the one controlling the Nagoya family ever since was the same person managing me the rest of the wyverns with Jita san Back then, the town was split east and west between the dojo and the Omi Lions. They both ran match-fixing rackets to supplement their baseball betting, all of which depended on the Wyverns. So your expulsion was all part of Fujita's scheme to drive off the Tojo and the Omi. Claiming, uh, clearing the way them out of Nagoya with his true, was his true objective. After Fujita-san resigned as manager, he kept the truth hidden. At the same time, he made it seem like the Nagoya family was a legitimate Yakuza gang to keep any real Yakuza groups from moving in. It's like they were a secret society or, or a mafia or something. But that all ended yesterday. The Nagoya family was well organized, but its members were, were still just regular citizens. Now their secrets are out, they're powerless. What about your attackers? They all turned themselves in this morning. Ushijima-san and Milky-chan, the two who looked after me the most, persuaded the rest to do it. For 15 years, they harbored their secret in silence, dreading that this day would come. That must have been difficult for you. Well, yeah, but I can't go feeling sorry for myself. Not until I find the real enemies behind all this. What do you mean? Last night when Ushijima san and others captured me, I knew for sure. These guys weren't killers. It's true they were acting in Fujita san's orders, but they're not capable of staging the accidents which happened over the past few days. You mean Sakai's death at the construction site? This is what you this is the moth the guy from the Tojo. That's not all. I nearly lost my life several times as, soon as, as I started looking at the Nagoya family. I'm sure the reason that the Tojo and Omi offices were part of their grand scheme too. Yes, yeah, it's, 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 uh, Ushijima-san and others were part of the Nagoya family, sure. But they hesitate to, to even raise a fist at me. Murder would be completely out of the question for them. They have to be actual criminals behind this. Let's, let me get this straight. The so-called Nagoya family is a front of an actual more sinister Yakuza group. I see, then I know the man who's involved. It has to be him. What man? You know who's pulling Fujita-san's strings? 
I've been the best game in the Nagoya family to see whether the guy I'm thinking of is linked to this or not. But it looks like I'll need to hear the rest from Fujita himself. Well done, you pay as promised. Huh? Your job's over. I'm going back to Tokyo. I suggest you clear your debts and think about finding a new line of work. Hold on a second. Are you going to go meet Fujita-san? Then count me in on this. I've got some questions on my own friend. From now on, this job is mine. It's Diego, yeah, like I thought. You stay out of it. Thought so. Huh? Thought so. Diego. You're. Remember me? The name's Ojima. We went to West Kamarucho High together. Hey, Dojima, you said, wait, could it be? Let's see, huh? where are you? I swear, I remember Dojima Kun in Homer 1, who had the best grades in class. Uh, I was in Homer 1, right, but I'm not in that yearbook. Why not? Why not? Because I never graduated. I was expelled. You were? I got some major trouble the summer of our third year. I ended up graduating from Juvie instead. Juvie, huh? As in juvenile detention? I had it out with a gang from Kamuro Tech High. Kamuro Tech, they were Tokyo's worst bad boy school. We played them in the East Tokyo final. Oh, wait, that was someone who fought a whole bunch of Kamuro tech guys all by himself the day before a region final, was that? I remember that. Those punks from Kamuro tech were threatening our players to forfeit the final. But the day before the game, they all got sent to the emergency room. They let us play the final without interference. We won and went on to nationals. And that Koshian, we lost 2-1 to one in the first round to Sawada, and the rest, uh, their home run was the only hit. I, I saw it on TV in the waiting room at Family Court. But man, that blows my mind. I had no idea you saved our highs back then. Why would you put yourself through that? For me, seeing the baseball team make it to nationals at Koshian. No, forever and at West Camaro that summer, that was our dream. You met? Your dream. Oh. Yeah, we, you were the only one who gave us the dream in the first place. F uh, for all of us back then, all we wanted was to see you go to Koshin. But that dream was about to be shattered by the opposing school, and I only had the muscle to protect it. For me, protecting that dream was the same as protecting my own. I can't understand, but that got you expelled and landed you in Juvie. This may sound sentimental, but people do entrust their dreams to others. They lay down what they couldn't achieve on their own and offer it to someone who can. By watching that person march forward, carrying a bright new future on their shoulders, they can accept their own reality, live their own lives. Thinking of that one day, they too might be able to make their own dreams come true. I don't get it. I had no dream of my own back then. Despite that, I knew I could at least help someone else reach their full potential. I was already destined to take over the family business. Graduating was the least of my concerns. It was more important to help the team get to Koshin. Everyone's hopes were riding on it. I'll never forget the moment when you and your home run cleared the stadium. Even now, thinking back on it gives me the motivation to keep moving forward, even when the road ahead seems grim. Tasso, you have no idea how grateful I am to you. Dojima kun, that family business is yours. I'm the Tojo clan's sixth chairman, although I'm currently off their radar for the time being. You serious? That's why I need to handle this. It's too risky for a civilian like you to get in any deeper. Basically. 
It's a Yakuza well, drama. You gave everyone well, enough to dream about. It's my turn to help you regain that one you lost. What do you mean? When everything is said and done, I've had the major leagues resend your permanent ban. And if you can't return as a player, I'll negotiate your return as a, either a coach or a manager. So now, use that money to get your affairs in order. Don't worry, I have more going for me now than just for strength. I'll rewind those 15 years you lost. There's a lot about redemption in these games. I'll be in touch once I'm back in Tokyo. See you. Same shit all over again. What are you doing? I'm saying it's the same as 15 years ago. Yakuza jerked me around, cost me my dream. Now Yakuza's gonna give me it back. I'm not having it. That's not how I'm saving my dream. Using some thug's shady connections to get reinstated? It's a hollow victory. I'm aware, but face the facts, Tatsuo. As things stand, you'll spend the rest of your life here in poverty. You inspire people, Tatsuo. So I don't care how it happens. You deserve me in the spotlight. Open your eyes. Cling to the past won't give me uh, get, won't give back the time you lost. Tatsuo. Tatsuo. My story is not yours to write. Every day for 15 years, I've taken 5,000 swings, done 1,000 push ups and sit ups. Never took a single day off. Tasso, listen. There's nothing you say to convince me. I'm saving my dream with my own two hands. I'm getting that home run back. I love it. So this is what it comes to. As much as you want it, I won't let you run to your death. As a Yakuza. And as your friend. If you think I'm just gonna roll over. You better think again. Then prove me wrong, Katsu. Diego Dojima. You know I've noticed with this one, they've cut back on the they've cut back on the the jazz flutes. Oh jazz yeah, jazz trumpets, whatever.
Christ, man. Like there's no room to fight and he counters As I said, that was Carol's pose, and then tried to hit him anyway. You would think. You would think. ever win any fights because it doesn't seem like it man gets his ass kicked more than anyone <laughs> well you don't try uh, trying to stop me <laughs> yeah I accept the feed then I'm going with you to Tokyo I won't object. Not after that. Tatsu, <laughs> you ready now? Uh huh, good to go. Nara. Imanochi 
わかった。Okay, we'll do. <laughs> That's because. Yeah, I do. Because. Tatsu. Ah, okay. Da. Yep, A okay. So, ka. All right, let's go. Jay, you go. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Dirty, dirty boy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hey, hey, sorry. But can you go down, down first? Hmm? Hmm? Hey, sorry, didn't mean to keep you. Are you done now? Yep, let's do this. You go. Obviously, duh. Thanks for the spot. I'm not much in my wallet, but just, but just there. Here's your change. Oh, you can keep it. Seriously? Freaking Christmas came early. Today I just... A couple loose coins don't mean shit when you run the Chojo coin, huh? Hey! I'm trying to keep a low profile. Don't do this to me. Ah, crap. I guess the Q's life is tougher than I thought. What the hell? I told you to keep your voice down. 197 wind pitchers. Is that the same Sawada? Uh-oh. I think I made a big mistake. What about? Ujima kun you go on ahead. There's something I need to do first. Hey! Hey! What did it say? About the pitcher? Where to see him out of the house? Oh. Here's your ball and your money. Should be more than enough. Get your children something nice with whatever's left over. He gave him all that money. He owed him like one million. He know that I ain't even married. Basically, we got fucked over by the 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 city to like get rid of the gangsters, and I don't know what was what it means with this guy, and the guy who was in charge of all that was our old manager, who 
resigned and just got hired as, as another baseball team's coach. And so, I'm, I, I don't know. Maybe he was the one paying the manager? I don't know. Sawada! Sawada! Sawada. Sawada. I had a feeling you would know to, uh, would know to find me here. Good on you, Shinada. I saw the Indian paper. Never would have expected the league's top pitcher to get traded to the Wyverns, the eternal underdog. It was my promise to Vegeta-san that I would take his place in 15 years. I didn't realize that realize Vegeta's son's return to baseball would mean a new boss for the Nagoya family. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm wrong. Am I wrong, Sawada? Sawada. You're aware this is my hometown, right? Yeah. Yep, the ace of Chukyo Academy, the genius of Nagoya. You had plenty of nicknames in high school. Beefy! What's up, buddy? I know, it's been a while, but, but life can be strange, can it? By the luck of the draw, my career ended up in Tokyo. Nice, Beefy. As a result, you had your career stolen for Nagoya's sake, a place with no connection to Oh, I became the league's undisputed ace. But now you're back in Nagoya. Are you doing this to inherit the Nagoya family from Fujita-san? That's right. Why do you need to go so far to protect the Nagoya family? Isn't there something else you should be protecting instead? A friend from high school once told me that people like us help others to dream. You and I do more than just play some game here. The players who stand on this field carry the dreams of all sorts of people. You've heard, haven't you? Ushijima-san, Manabe-san. The entire Nagoya family has turned itself in. So that the Nagoya family is finished. Let me put it in. Uh, let me put it to you straight. I want you to stop causing more suffering using the Nagoya family. Apparently, you're blind to what's really going on. What? I know the Nagoya family is finished. I came back to Nagoya to finish one last job. What's that? What else? To get rid of the guy who's got the most dirt on the Nagoya family. That was my final task. Sawada. Everyone who turned themselves in this morning has been released. No one will be pressing any charges. How is that? Shinada. Shinada, the thing is controlled by someone far more powerful than you can imagine. Someone with the power to play the police reports like puppets. That's what you're up against. You're just being used, Sawada. Who's doing this? Who's really aiming that gun? Over there. Who are they? My observers from the Omi Alliance. The Omi? Why them? That's your answer. Fujita san and I, we were used by a faction within the Omi Alliance. A faction? 
Nasha from Kobe, the Kuruho family. The Nagoya family was constructed as a puppet organization for the Kuruho family to drive out the Omi lions and take their piece of the pie. In other words, it's part of an internal schism with the Omi Alliance. Just so one Omi group could drive out another Omi group. And both Coach Fujita and I sold our souls to the Kurujo family to make our dreams come true. What? Shinada, I was never the genius or the baseball hero you thought I was. Even way back at Koshian, I, I only won the Nationals with Karusha's help. That can't be. It is. The Kuro bribed coaches from other schools. They did anything possible so I could win. Wait, so the goons from Karu, Kamuro Tech were threatened us before the regional final? That's right, the Karu is doing. Of course, some punk from your school had to go screw up the plan. So our first round game against each other was your only real match. No wonder I didn't notice. For me, the Koshian tournament was only real in the first round. That match was essentially a final. A pure unbridled slugging machine, Tatsu Shinada. All I had to do was hold you off one game and we'd have the tournament in the bag. I'd say I did that and then some. I kicked you out of Nationals first round, which you got buried in the draft to the Wyverns. Whereas I was considered the pinnacle of high school baseball and signed with the Jigens as their first pick. Can you guess why the Kuro family went so far to make me win the Nationals? No. Oh yes, they did it to enable match fixing in every single game I pitched between the Jigens and the Wyverns. It was completely undetectable. Nothing was swayed by chance. The Kuru gained complete and utter control of baseball betting. That's crazy. Baseball betting is a tough thing to manage. It's not easy to fix a game. You can pay off a pitcher, but if the opposing batters don't score, you can't force a win. You can pay off the batters, but if the opponents don't score, you can't force a loss. But the Wyverns, Wyverns on it, and the were in on it, and if they faced me as the opposing pitcher, then fixing matches would practically be child's play. That was the idea, but even though it was nearly flawed, it failed just once. That game where you hit your home run, Shinada. The Kuro family's order was, was for the home team, the Wyverns, to lose with a 1-0 score. But at the bottom of the night, the, the Jigans didn't have a run to their name. Even if they wanted us to win, there was nothing they could do if our batters couldn't score. And using a blatant error to get our team ahead would have looked bad in front of the cameras. So Coach Fujita replaced Sakai on second with you, a guy with no major league experience to pinch hit. That means Coach Fujita thought I couldn't get a hit off of you? He knew your strengths and weaknesses better than anyone. That's why he instructed you to keep throwing curveballs at me? Yeah. But then, that seven pitch... Why do you change to a fastball? Did you ignore orders just so you could settle our showdown, Sawada? No, that was definitely Fujita-san's order. What? That was his call? That's right. I was instructed to throw that fastball by like another other than Coach Fujita. Make no mistake. 
Why? Why would he do that? Because. You talk too much, Sawada. If you won't shoot, I will. And then I'll have to dispose of you too. I know that. The Nagoya family? They have no idea that the Kuro family has been controlling them this entire time. They put their trust in me and Fujita for Nagoya's sake. They followed our every order. I hope you can believe that at least. Sawada. Sawada. Are you ready, Shinada? Shinada. Shinada, die! Shine! How? What a bro, exactly. I don't get it. So you knew the Jigen signs after all? Money. Well, yeah, learning your opponent's signs is batting 101. Oh, God. There's a billion more guys to beat up, huh? So he wasn't a bro. Maybe he was. I don't fucking know. I guess he was. I don't know. Have a good one, Arcane. I'll, I'll be raiding here in a little bit. So what? Why did you try to save me? I always wanted to know how you managed to get a read on my fastball. I can't let you die without telling me the truth. That's all. Fair enough. How about that home run 15 years ago? Did you steal our signs? How about I tell you if we both walk out of here alive? That'll do. Perfect. And let's get swinging. Yeah. The end of these games are always like people turning on each other the whole fucking like time. There's some giant fucking battles in this game. I'm kind of aggravated they won't let him pick up a bat.
will say this is the first time I've done fighting in these games on a baseball field. It's pretty funny. This guy's I'm like Matomete Katazke Mashoka. like 87 people in this fight alone. I don't know what I picked. I wasn't looking at uh, your message till after I. You still breathing, Shinada? Somehow. Then tell me. How'd you do it? How'd you hit that home run? Let me ask you something first. It's about that fastball. Why did Vegeta San tell you to throw it? I need to know, please. Fujita-san was... He was conflicted. Conflicted? He told me as much. Over at a bar in Kinicho the night before the game. Sawada. So out of these four years, they've been hell. I can't bear making a picture of your stature resort to this deception. What are you talking about, Fujita-san? We did the only thing we could. No point regretting it now. So even if I go up against Shinada tomorrow, I'll just do what you told me, Fujita-san. The curveball? Breaking balls do give him trouble. But be honest, you want to see how he can handle your fastball. I know Shinada is your bat, your bitter rival. Are you really throwing that away? Wow, but what's up, buddy? What's done is done. And if we fail, it's all over. I know that. I really do. Still. This is what Fujita-san said next. I won't let Shinada end up a tool for match-fixing. He's far too special for that. I'd rather retire from the league than tarnish that talent. He said all that. That game 15 years ago. Even if you hadn't hit that home run, 
Sooner or later, the world would have found out the wyverns were fixing matches. The Kuroha family planned to bring it all out in the open eventually anyway. And in the ensuing police crackdown, they finally pushed both the Omi Alliance and the Tojo clan out of Nagoya for good. Nani? So Fujita-san made a decision. In, returning, in return for selling a soul to the Kuroha, he'd protect the one thing he held dearest. Which was what? His love of the game. Fujita-san, you represented Hope. The one clean Wyverns act in the entire Wyverns lineup. The only light in a world of dark. That's why he embraced our rivalry. Let go of it for real. Before Fujita-san walked out from the love of his life, he wanted to see it one last time. Pure, genuine baseball. Nani, the fuck? That's the truth. We should get moving. More Karua thugs will be here any minute. You can tell me all about the home run later. Shinada? Hey, Shinada, what are you doing? Don't want these guys getting in the way. Huh? Are you going to pitch and add a bat again? Come on, help me. They don't belong on the diamond anyway. Just what are you up to? We're settling this. Our rivalry, that is. I am nine. I, I had already I said earlier you gotten too stoned uh, and forgot about the stream. Also, fuck you, Berserker. <laughs> so we really doing this? Of course we are. Don't you want to know my secret? And what? This will show me? Yep, no doubt. Well, so long as your pitching hasn't gone to shit after all these years. Oh, come on. You really think you can still get a hit off of me? Damn straight I do. Now bring it! Draft balls are pretty high. Hey. <laughs> not bad. There's nothing compared to the fastball you hit back in the day. Besides, I'm just warming up. Try this on for size. My real fastball. I thought you've been itching for a rematch. What happened? Was that the home run just a fluke, huh? Just throw the damn ball. Crush it! <clears throat> he 
He was like, no. I screwed that one up pretty bad. Why didn't you hit it out of the park? Next. Fine. I am a poop. It's the seventh pitch. Bring back memories. Time to end this once and for all. How do you know I was going to throw a curve? It's not that I knew. So thanks. I need to work on my tan. I mean, I've been waiting for that curveball for 15 years now. No joke. What do you mean? At Koshin 20 years ago, I struck out on your fastball. So for the next four years, when I was at the Wyvern's farm, I spent day after day thinking about how I'd hit your next one. Then in our game 15 years ago, my big hit finally came. But I couldn't get a read on your curve. If Fujita-san hadn't set the signal you to throw that fastball, if you kept throwing curves, you would have struck me out for sure. As it happens, I got that home run. I thought all my hard work had brought my dream to life. But if it only happened because you and Fujita-san took pity on me, well, there's no glory in that. Shinada. Shinada. Thanks for being honest with me. It took a while, but it was worth the wait. He did swing the bat nine. He did swing the bat. Guess I retire in peace now. About time, huh? I owe you, owe you one sawada. I, I couldn't say a sentence. Out of the park. All right, we're going to quit. Finale, yeah. So I don't know how long. We'll do the finale on Saturday. I don't know how long the finale is going to take. Bros? Bros? I don't know what the finale is going to be, but I got to get rid of this because I don't want to gather information. <gasps> we're Kiru again. Well, we're back to Kiru on Saturday.